Interesting grace. Well, I don't know about that. Yes, Annie. Thank you. Awful lot of things in the good book I wouldn't care to hear just before eating. Well, fitting in the sense that Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and so is this piggy's. Oh, I declare, James. <laughs> pickles, Annie. <laughs> I should say so. You know my opinion of your pickles. Well, that's the last time I'm afraid I didn't put up nearly enough last summer. This year, I intend to. Reverend looked in at the office today to complain his hands stopped laying. <laughs> Poor fellow was off. He could... I always suspected those hands. Of what? I think they're papists. Oh, gee. Has he... First thing you know, we'll start arguing about religion again. Miss Annie! No. This is a very special day. Oh, it will be when I get into that. I haven't had a chance to welcome her home yet. Captain Keller. Katie, Miss Annie and I had a little discussion. Now, she feels that if we indulge but Helen... It's only a napkin. It's not as if it were breakable. And everything she's learned is. Mrs. Keller, I don't think we ought to play tug of war for her. Either give her to me or you keep her from kicking. It can't matter. Just this one time, I made all of her favorite foods tonight. It is a homecoming party, Miss Annie. She's testing you, you realize? She's testing you. Jimmy, be quiet. Now that she's home, naturally, she wants... She wants to see what will happen at your hands. I said it was my main worry. But she's not kicking now. And not learning not to. Mrs. Keller, she'll live up to just what you demand of her and no more. She's testing you. Jimmy! I have an opinion. I think I should be allowed... No one is interested in hearing your opinion. I'm interested. Of course she's testing me. Let me keep her to what she's learned, and she'll go on learning from me. Take her out of my hands, and it all comes apart. Be bountiful. It's at her expense. Please, pass me more of her favorite foods. Take her, Miss Annie. Thank you. Now, I'm afraid that you're the difficulty, Miss Annie. Now, I will keep her to what she's learned. You're quite right there, but I don't see that we need send her from the table. After all, she is the guest of honor. Bring a plate back, please. If she was a seeing child, none of you would tolerate one minute of this. Well, she's not, and some compromise is called for. Her plate, please. There. Occasionally, another hand can smooth things out. Now, shall we start all over? I think we've started all over. Oh. Don't get up. Where are you taking her? Don't smooth anything else out for me. I treat her like a seeing child because I ask her to see. I expect her to see. Don't undo what I do. Where are you taking her? To make her feel that picture again. You let her speak to you like that. No, I don't. Let her go. What? I said let her go. She's right. She's right. Kate's right. I'm right. And you're wrong. Has it never occurred to you that on one occasion you might be consummately wrong? Captain. Sit down, please, Jimmy. All right. Come. No, she's not here. Come. Some way G E R what? Has a name. Some way G E R.
Thank you. 